A Blunt County man says he was sexually abused by a Knoxville priest and a former bishop. In a lawsuit filed last week, Michael Boyd claims the abuse happened in the early 1990s. He was serving as an altar boy and grade school student at Sacred Heart School. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan spoke to a woman who went with Boyd to file a police report. And Cole, you heard from that advocate and the Knoxville Diocese. What did they have to say? John Robin, the advocate says recent headlines about abuse and cover-ups in other parts of the country convinced Boyd to come forward. She says this lawsuit is the beginning of the truth coming out in the Knoxville Diocese. This lawsuit, filed last week at the Knox County Circuit Court, claims horrific acts of childhood sexual abuse happened at the Sacred Heart Cathedral. Michael Boyd, now in his late 30s, says now dead priest Xavier Mankel abused him when he attended Sacred Heart Catholic School in the early 90s. The suit says it began when he was changing out of his altar boy robes and escalated into what the suit says Father Mankel called love therapy and later touch therapy. This is horrific what has been done to this young man. Susan Vance of the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests went with Boyd to file this police report last September. That was a cathartic moment for him because he was finally, finally speaking the truth. The suit says then Bishop Anthony O'Connell also engaged in inappropriate touching and sexual contact with Boyd. O'Connell, who died in 2012, admitted to molesting boys while he was a school principal in Missouri before coming to Knoxville. Also named in the suit, William Lovelace, who the diocese has now suspended as a music teacher at two Catholic schools. Boyd claims Lovelace tried to get him to touch him inappropriately. In a statement, Bishop Richard Sticka says the church contacted authorities when presented with the allegations. He also says its independent investigation, quote, concluded there was no finding of credible evidence to support the allegations. But Vance says it's true and a first step toward accountability. What you're seeing here today in this lawsuit is the beginning of the truth being told finally. We contacted Boyd's attorney but didn't hear back. We also reached out to Lovelace, the music teacher, who directed us to his lawyer. We haven't heard back from him either. Robin and John. Cole Sullivan on this story. Thank you.